guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an Ipsy verse birch box video and I'm going to be unboxing and unbagging these boxes and bags and I'm really excited because both of them gave me some extras. I haven't really looked at anything in Ipsy. I did kind of peek into the birch box. So let's go ahead and get started. Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription. So is birch box. So they're pretty equivalent in price and in timing. You get them every month. You could cancel at any time. So they're essentially one and the same in terms of how you get your bag box. You know, the price, the contents are pretty similar. Um, so I figured it would be a good thing to verse them to see which one might be a little bit better or worth your time. Uh, I personally like both. I'm not sure which one I like better yet. I'm not sure. So starting out, I did get this Ipsy bag in the mail. It came in the usual hot pink packaging. It does feel kind of canvassy. It has a bunch of ladies on it, which I'm assuming is for Women's Month. And it has this really cute hot pink zipper, which we'll get to in a moment. But I did have three goodies inside my hot pink packaging that didn't fit in the bag. I have two PM masks. These are both sheet masks right here, and they are supposed to nourish and revitalize your skin overnight, and it should help you with rough and dry skin. Gives you the directions. I thought that was really cool that they gave me two of these. And then I believe that I got this extra because of my points. This is another sheet mask. This is a tea tree sheet mask, and it looks like it is supposed to make your skin calm and restore the skin clean. So just some nice sheet mask. I don't really know what kind of result I'll be looking for with this, but I've never used a sheet mask and I'm thoroughly excited to try one out. So that was awesome. And I can't believe I ended up with three masks in a $10 subscription. That was probably, you know, like $9 by itself or more. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead and look inside the bag. So this is the card. It says create. Basically, it's just telling you to be creative. As you can tell, this is creative. This looks a little bit creative. So let's see what's in the bag. Oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it came with some markers. I'm assuming that's so that we can decorate the bag because it does feel very canvassy. I'm assuming we can go ahead and write on this and they did send us two markers. So that's pretty cool and different. I've never had that with Ipsy before. And the next thing that I'm seeing in here is the tiniest little sample ever, but I still can't wait to try it. This is an eyeliner from Tarte. This is Sex Kitten. It looks like this. I don't know exactly how much product we're gonna get. We can see, not very much. So you're literally only getting that much product. Enjoy it while it lasts, guys, like one use. But I'm still super excited to try this because I really like Tarte Cosmetics, so that's cool. Actually, let's just see how it glides on. I don't wanna waste it, because it's so small, but. Okay, so it's pretty creamy. It's just a creamy standard black eyeliner, probably good for your waterline. All right, now next I have Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Scrub Fix. Okay, so this looks like this. Hopefully you were able to see that. It's a three-in-one micro exfoliant with glycolic silicilic, silicilic, that's hard to say. Acids to refine, brighten, and renew. Okay, so this is just an exfoliator. It actually feels really full, which is kind of good because usually samples are only like halfway full. This one feels heavy, so I think you, I'm probably gonna get some good use out of this one little bottle. So I am excited to try that. I do like exfoliators. You'll hear me say that all the time. Um, the next thing I'm pulling out in this bag is from Steve Laurent, or Steve Laurent. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name either, but I do love the products that I get from them. This is a lip oil. Ooh, 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 ooh. The one lip gloss that I got from them, I seriously loved. You know what? I didn't even show you the packaging. So that's what the box looks like. Their packaging is really pretty. Like, it always looks so beautiful to me. I'm hoping you can catch a glimpse of this. It's got uh, a gold lid. It says Steve Laurent on the bottle. This is just a lip oil in the shade Orchid. Let's see if it smells. A really mild, sweet scent. It smells really good. It's not obnoxious whatsoever. It's really just like, I mean, it doesn't have a color to it. I don't know if you can tell. It's just a lip oil and it's kind of got a tackiness to it, but not really. Honestly, it really feels like a lip gloss to me. 
but it says it's a lip oil. Like, maybe a more, uh, I just wiped that on my shirt. Okay. Anyway, lip oil, I'm still really super excited to have this because I like anything by Steve Laurent, and um, it smells pretty nice. Just a really mild sweet scent, I like that. I like that a lot. And it looks like there's only one more thing in this bag. And I've never seen this brand before. Furless Cosmetics. Furless Cosmetics, have you guys heard of them? I haven't. Okay, so this is in the shade Sinister. It looks like it's a loose eyeshadow pigment. All right, Let's see if I can get this out without like, you know. Nope, I'm going in. I ripped it. All right, so just so you see what the box looked like, the box looked like this in the shade sinister again the packaging is really cute just looks like that ah, I just dropped the bag okay so let's see what the color looks like uh, well you know it would be something if I could get get it open Ooh, almost there got it now I'm at a loss as to where this where to stick the sticker I'll put it inside its box okay so let's just get a little bit of that out oh yeah that's beautiful okay let me go ahead and just like swatch this for you guys hopefully that's a good enough okay well it looked really pigmented until i put it on my hand i'm not too sure about the pigmentation now but i mean that is what it is it's a loose pigment maybe i just didn't get enough no, I mean, that is the color. It's just like a really light sheen. Here it is on my fingertip, so it looks really concentrated and dark. And on my hand, you can see it right here. It's actually really light, uh, like a light taupey color. It's not even that shimmery. Huh, interesting. Maybe if you use like Fix Plus or something, you could get this kind of effect, which is really pretty. But that's it. That's the contents of my Ipsy bag for the month of March. I like it, it's cool. Um, the loose pigment's pretty good. I mean, it's a full size eyeshadow, so I mean, that's probably worth the whole bag. And then I also got the three masks. I got the markers with the bag to decorate. I got the eensy weensy teensy sex kit and eyeliner from Tarte, which I just wish they would have been a little bit more generous with this. I really want this full size and I don't wanna go buy the full size. And then the lip oil, which I'm really excited about. I always have dry lips, so this is going to get some good use. And the exfoliator, I'm dropping stuff. I love this, this is cool. I always like trying new skincare products, so I'm happy with that. And that's it for Ipsy. Let's go ahead and check out what's in Birchbox. Okay, so now we're gonna look into Birchbox. Birchbox is uh, pretty much one in the same in terms of the sizes of the products you're gonna receive. I do find that I generally receive more skincare or hair care in Birchbox. I don't remember what's in this box. I know I have seven items, two of them are just foil packets. So foil packets are generally extra. You get five uh, sample size or deluxe samples in this box. So this is what the box looks like. I think it's really pretty this month. I can hear stuff like rattling around. I like the back of it actually. It's just looks really pretty. Okay. So let's see what's in there inside it looks like this and the best part about Birchbox is it does come with a card that tells you the prices the products what they do so this will essentially tell you the full size products and their price i like this it doesn't leave me confused the inside of the box kind of looks like oh boy looks like that so let's just go off the card so that I don't get off track and I don't get confused. So this is from Hara and it's Candle Nut Body Cream. Full size this product is $35. Wow, that's kind of expensive. Okay, Candle Nut Body Cream. Smooths, moisturize, and softens skin. Looks like this. It says it's velvety candle nut oil formula inspired by Balinese, Balinese, oh Lord. Recipes penetrates deep into dry, rough skin for instant, non-greasy softness that lasts and lasts. So let's just see what it feels like. Well, it would be better if I took the safety still off and then tried it out. Yeah. I'm not going to take very much because I've got other things to check out. 
out still. All right, that's really soft. Ooh, it actually smells really good. Oh, I thought this was going to be super sweet. It's actually like a sweet and a clean scent at the same time. Oh, that's good stuff. That smells really, really nice. I don't know how it leaves my hands feeling because I'm not able to use it and like sit here and let you know how it feels in an hour, but I'll let you know in the description box how I feel about this after I've put it on my hands. So that's the first thing. Um, Model Co. sent us a Luxe Cream Longwear Lipstick in the shade Sienna. Full size trio is $18. So this generally comes in a trio. I'm hoping you're able to see this. And this shade is Sienna, Swipe This Creamy Deep Rose Shade, available as part of an exclusive trio on Birchbox.com, across the lips for a long-lasting rich pigment that stays put all day. All right, well, darn, I gotta open this too. I'm already wearing something on my lips too. I'm actually wearing something from the last Ipsy bag that I got. Okay. So, this is what the shade looks like, supposedly. Oh, okay, so this has had some rough days. It's been smashed into the uh, cap, it looks like. Okay, that's all right though. Get a lot of product, it's like a full-size lipstick. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and swatch this bad boy. I have no idea what this shade is going to actually look like. Oh, it's really creamy. Hmm, I like that. That's really pretty. Okay, that'll totally get used. It was creamy, it didn't feel dry, it glided on really nicely, it's pigmented, it's not patchy. Yeah, that's got, that's awesome. Cool. Okay, so the next thing in the box comes from Kai, leave-in conditioner full size. This is $26. It looks like this. This mist does it all. It smooths, softens, protects, and detangles strands for all-day moisture. Spray on to damp hair before brushing and heat styling. Okay, maybe I would use it. I don't like anything that leaves my hair feeling heavy. It has the mildest clean scent ever. Okay, so that's nice. I would love to try this. So I'll get back to you and let you know how this goes, if it leaves my hair feeling heavy or if it feels like really nothing at all. Um, so that's cool. The next thing in my box is Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel, full size, $48. Okay, I'm really excited about this. This is one of those products that you just like rub on your face and it's supposed to collect all the dead skin and then you kind of just rinse it off. So this says apply this gentle acid-free peel to clean dry skin for a gorgeous glow, massage in circular motions to exfoliate, then wash skin with a mild cleanser to remove. I'm really excited to try this. I always like... Um, three minute peels or anything that's going to exfoliate off the dead skin. I have really dry, well, it's not dry. I have really confused skin. So essentially anything that's going to help out my confused dry patches, I want to try it. Okay, next thing in the box is Smashbox Cosmetics Instamat Lipstick Transformer, full size $24. Okay, so that's cool. Looks like that. You can apply it to any lipstick that maybe has a sheen to it, and it's supposed to mattify it. I wish I had a lipstick to try it on, but none of the lipsticks that I have near me are uh, sheeny at all. They're all matte already. So I'll have to try this out at a later time. Don't really know how it feels or what it looks like. We can see. Oh, I like the applicator. I always like lip applicators like that. And then we can just see what it does. Honestly, it feels identical to their... Smashbox primer. Um, that's interesting. Okay. The next thing that I got is an Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Serum. Synchronized Complex. This is just labeled as a bonus. Full size. This product is $60. Holy Toledo. Any eye cream, you know you're going to be like forking out the big bucks. It's just a little foil packet. It's from Estee Lauder. Perk up tired looking eyes with this gel cream that features the brand the brands, oh no way. Chronolux CB, technology to minimize dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines as you sleep. That's cool, I always like eye products. I don't do enough for my eyes, so I really like getting things for my eyes. And the next product and the last bonus sample is from R&Co, 
Television Perfect Hair Shampoo and Conditioner, full size, this is $30 to $32. Happy Healthy Hair is a shower away, thanks to this strengthening shampoo and conditioner duo, which boosts body shine and softness. All right, cool. So it looks like this. I'm not going to open this, so I can't tell you how it smells or feels because I won't be able to reuse it if I do. But that is the contents of my birch box. I am pretty happy with it. If I had to say which one is better this month, I would probably say, I can't, I can't say. Um, I am a little bit disappointed in the fact that I didn't get very many makeup items. I mostly got like skincare, hair care. So that is a little bit frustrating whenever you're looking for a makeup subscription, but I'm still really happy with everything I got because I only spent, you know, a combined total of $20 and I got quite a few pricey items to try out. So I'm really happy with both, but like I said, they're really comparable. So it's up to you. Let me know in the comments down below which box you would pick if it were you, which box have you had a consistently better, uh, time with. Okay, so other than that, that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you know whenever I'm posting new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Smashbox, smash, smash box. Oh boy, let me start over. All the notification, no, 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 let me start over. <laughs> Why do I do this every video? I get ahead of myself and I just can't talk. Oh boy. Okay, so if you like this video, blah, 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 blah.